Businesses short on staff are leading to shorter tempers. Tough moments like this one at Taco Bell in Sharonville are becoming all too common. So first she took a burrito, smeared it all over the window, tried to get in through the window to come at me, and I put, like, I mugged her face to stop her and push her back. Frustration, not over a cheesy gordita crunch or soft tacos, but a customer and a general manager battling over a $1 burrito lost in the mix. Yeah, she's in there. I guess she's mad because she's the only worker. She was being a rude saying that she couldn't give my stuff back. And I'm like, I mean, you're going to give me my food because that's still at the end of the day. She, um, so then she got mad and slapped me in the face. Sharonville police were called to the location on Hawk Road Sunday multiple times, according to 911 calls. The general manager says she was the only person serving customers as a brand new employee helped prepare food. She says the lobby was locked due to staffing issues and the drive through line was long. That's when she says the customer walked up to the window as a half dozen other cars waited too. She wouldn't leave, so I opened the window and said, is this what you want? Here's your burrito. Don't come back. The customer says her two-year-old daughter was with her and she was accused of lying about missing food. She says she threw the burrito back in anger. The manager says the customer didn't hit her. As Sharonville police investigate, the women say there's video to prove what happened. Meanwhile, the now hiring signs just don't seem to be getting workers back fast enough. Tonight, the manager tells us she was harassed after the incident. The customer tells us that she is upset, but she was not hurt. We did hear back from Taco Bell as well. They tell us that the franchisee has been cooperating with police and they found no wrongdoing on the part of the employee. Reporting in Sharonville, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.